everyone, welcome to Footy Adventures. It's Sam here taking you through a variety of different stadiums and games from around the world. Today I am at Panionios FC in Greece in the Greek Super League at the Nea Smyrni Stadium. I think I said it right, um, but come with me and I'll take you inside. So the game is about to kick off between Panionios FC and OFI Crete in the Greek Super League. A little bit about Panionios, uh, the home team today, they are the oldest team in Greece. They were actually originally founded in Turkey, but after the Greco-Turkish War they moved to Athens and they continued the club here. And yeah, so they were founded in Turkey, they're the oldest club, but now they're playing in the Greek Super League, obviously they are in Athens. So just how long ago they were founded, 1890, the modern Olympics didn't start till 1896, so another six years after they were founded was when the modern Olympics started. The club have won two Greek Cups and one Balkan Cup. The Balkan Cup is a cup that's now uh, disbanded, but it was between a lot of teams from Yugoslavia, Bulgaria and Greece and Turkey and that area of Europe. Unfortunately, they are bottom of the league. They got a six point deduction at the start of the season. It was for a licensing issue. I'm not sure what exactly they did. I couldn't find anything online. If you know, if you're from Greece and you know why they got their points deducted, could you let me know in the comments? I would be very grateful for that. And they're playing Offi Crete, who I saw against Pauk Thessaloniki a couple of days ago. And Offi Crete are about mid-table, so they're not a bad side, so they're probably going to win today. Um, Panioni also got six points. And the game today is at their home stadium, the Mia Smyrni Stadium. It's about two or three kilometers outside of central Athens. It can hold 11,700 people. But the guy who sold us the tickets told me that there was going to be about a thousand here today. So it's really not that full. You can tell that Panionios are struggling in the league, which is a shame. Hopefully they can do something today to help themselves out. There's not that many people here, maybe about 2,000 by my estimations. It was opened in 1939. It's been renovated a number of times. Um, but there is a free kick in front of me just now, which I'll show you. Um, but that's uh, about the two teams. corner so the away fans that have made it all the way from Crete are sat over there and the home fan ultras are in that corner over there so the home fans that are over there the ultras they are making quite a lot of noise even though the club are struggling in the league so they're still coming out to support the team which is great let's hope they can get a result for them today early goal for crete the panionios manager is fuming came from a corner seven minutes in not looking good for the home team who are bottom but the away fans a pretty buzzing. Home fans getting annoyed, should have maybe just had a penalty. Goalkeeper's almost just given away the easiest goal ever. Not going well for them at the moment. So that is, if you can hear me, so that is half time in the stadium. It's 1-0 to Crete at the moment. I saw them play the other day against Powok and they got absolutely dominated. 
but today they are looking like by far the better team. Panionios haven't really done much, it's a shame. If you are new to the channel, if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, please consider subscribing. I go to a lot of games like this around the world. I've got a lot more coming up in Europe over the next coming weeks, so make sure you subscribe uh, to see those. If you have been here before, then it's great to see you again on the channel. I just want to say a big thank you to not only the Power Up fans from the last video, but also the Thai fans. I went to see the Thailand national team play against Bahrain and they won 5-0. And some of your comments have been really nice. I'll put some on screen now. Uh, I just want to thank you. They really mean a lot. I do read all of them. I try and get back to them all as well. So leave a comment for me below on here and I'll try and get back to you as best I can. If you want to see more from Footy Adventures, please follow me on my Instagram. Teams are coming out for the second half. Pani Onios making a couple of subs. See if that can change the game for them. Atmospheres starting to build here for the home team since it's been made one off. One to Offie Creek. Offie, oh, Offie, oh, the away fans. Maybe about a hundred of them over there made the trip all the way from Creek for this game. Maybe they live in Athens, but quite a good turnout, I guess, for considering how far away they are. 2 1 to Creek. It's a shame as Panionios had come out better in the second half. That's 2 1 now. Another goal. Looking good for Crete, not so good for Panionios. Oh, penalty! Penalty to Crete. And it's a yellow card, another yellow card. Is there going to be a red card soon? The ref has booked so many players. I'm not sure how many there is, but at the end of the game, I will tell you if I remember there has been so many yellow cards as a penalty here I'm gonna get a closer look oh he's trying to Penenka and he's put it over the bar he can't believe it <coughs> what's he doing Penalty claim in the last, well, in stoppage time for the home team, Panionios. Nothing happening with the ref. Still 2-1 to Crete. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, he's in one-on-one. -on -one. He's played it square. Oh! Manager cannot believe it. Oh, my God, he's missed a great chance. He's tried to square it. Defenders cleared it away. Oh. No one can believe it. So that's full time here in Panionios. The ref is getting booed off the pitch. Flares are making their way onto the pitch. Home fans aren't happy. They probably deserved more from the game in the end, but they've lost 2-1. They remain bottom of the table by a long way. It's a shame, but it's the way it is. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Again, give me a follow on Instagram as well for posts from the game and stories from the games that I come to as well. I love coming to these random games. It's a great way to spend your time. It's not been the fullest stadium in the world, but it's nice to come here on a Saturday night and watch a game. Absolutely love football games like this. Coming to see random teams all around the world, learning about them, see what they have to offer. Fans aren't happy. Um, but another great, de another great game for Footy Adventures. 
three goals today. Fans are still singing. It's been a good game. Shame for the home team. But Crete fans are happy. Saw them lose the other day. They've now won. They're over there with the players. Um, we'll see you in the next one.